What's our big game tomorrow against Castleford? Let's start with uh, the supporters, really. How important is it going to be for them to come out and get behind the lads at this stage? Because, you know, you're, you're tight on numbers, aren't you? Yeah, look, we've got 17 fit players for tomorrow. We need um, the crowd to become our 18th man tomorrow, really, and really get behind the boys and really kind of support them. The club's going through a tough period at the moment in time, and obviously us on the playing side are going through a tough period as well. And, the more supporters we can get in, that helps us both kind of financially as a club, and with this, just with the kind of the volume of support and the noise that the supporters make, that lifts the players on a match day. And I know the players appreciate um, the supporters being out there and, and behind them. So hopefully we'll get a good crowd tomorrow and we get a good um, support to hopefully try and get a win against Castleford. And I know you don't want to bleat on about injuries. You, you, you see them as an opportunity for the guys, don't you? Yeah, massively. That's the big thing we look at. Look, we've got 17 players who are uh, fit this week. What we spoke about these players about going out there, playing, expressing themselves and enjoying the football and making sure that they're the guys who are still in them 17 shirts when all the other guys start coming back. Because we'll start to get a few guys back. It's um, just being dribs and drabs at the moment. Obviously as well, like the table's beginning to take shape. Certain teams know where they're going to be like in, coming into like, the, the qualifiers. Some teams are going to have to make a tough multi-thousand mile round trip to Toronto. Is it going to be better, do you think, in the, super, in the middle eight, sorry, for teams that don't have to make that trip? I think potentially it's better in terms of kind of preparation to avoid a trip to Toronto. You think about the flight, the, it's not just the flight going out there, it's the flight coming back and we leave from what some of the championship teams have told us is they end up flying to Glasgow, you've then got to get a bus back from Glasgow all the way back down to Manchester. So it impacts on your kind of recovery time and your preparation for the following game, not only for the Toronto game you're going in, from what we've been told is some of the facilities are not um, the best over there at the moment so look it'd be better for us to avoid um, a trip to Toronto as most teams will want to avoid that trip going over there it'd be much better playing the Toronto team here with our home support behind us. Are you starting to look yourself now at potential fixtures going forward who you might end up with? Oh, we're taking um, one game at a time I always keep a close eye on kind of the championship and league one as well just which you obviously can see with players like Chris Brynan and Darrell coming in. Um, th th these players in there who are good players who can play against Super League. So I'm well aware of what's in them leagues and what kind of teams they are as well. Um, so it'll be up to a kind of our preparation once we come up against them. And um, we talk about having like a bit of a thin squad, but you, big news today. You've completed the signing, Jackson Hastings. Yes, it's a big one. It's been um, a process for a, for a long time, um, kind of getting players and making sure we can kind of commit to them and they can commit to us. So Jackson's a big signing for us. He's a, he's a well-known player in Australia um, for his footballing reasons as well as some of the issues that you've seen kind of off the field. But the, the biggest thing with Jackson was Trent Robinson a couple of years ago let James Maloney leave the Roosters so that he could be Mitchell Pearce's halfback partner. And then obviously Mitchell Pearce had a little infringement and Jackson was to carry the can for the start of the season um, for the first kind of 12 games he was the main half and he was trying to control the, an NRL team at a young age and from all the reports I've spoke about on the football inside he says a great organiser, great kicking game and that's something that we've needed um, since obviously the departure of um, Double. Have you any idea when you'll actually be able to get him into your team? Well we've just looked at it there and just speaking to kind of just been speaking to his mum actually on an email and she was saying that the visa's kind of all gone through. Hopefully it'll be about five working days, so hopefully he'll try and get across here for Wednesday next week. If he does, then we'll see whether it's worth taking him over to Catalan with us. We don't want to obviously put him on a flight straight away when he's just come back from Australia and then he'll get risking him getting injured. So we'll manage um, Jackson when he gets in. There's a bit of a statement as well, there's obviously lots of super league clubs after him. It's, it's a good signing for us, isn't it? Yeah, we, we believe there was four clubs interested in a couple of big teams as well. Um, obviously, the work, obviously, of speaking with kind of his agent, um, Sam um, Ayub, he's, he's been outstanding with us in his uh, dialogue and communications back and forth. Um, he's kept us in the loop all the time. We knew Huddersfield were talking up, and there was one point saying that Huddersfield had actually kind of signed him, um, and we, we knew that wasn't the case. And like I say, Jackson's chose to come here. and Hopefully this will be a great experience for him and for us, for us going forward. And obviously Marwan's been involved a little bit. Yeah, outstanding, outstanding. Um, can't thank Marwan kind of enough as a, as a, as a backroom team and as a, a playing side really because it's, we've needed a few new players now. Everything's been seen, players going out and nothing coming. But again, uh, there was people who was kind of not wanting Marwan kind of involved in the club but Marwan's kind of shown his true colours again here now. He's stepped up again when the club most need him again. Um, and he's funded kind of the transfer, which is 
I think he deserves all the credit on the back of that one. And you've seen a bit of excitement in, in the lads you've got around you just to, to bring someone like Jackson in? Yeah, it's just it's the players coming in. That's what the, the most pleased about is they're seeing something come in now. So where for since the beginning of the season they've seen players go out, Bennett, Mammy with his injury, Gaz O'Brien, but they've not seen anything come back in. And that's a little bit disheartening when uh, you can do, you've got ambitions to want to be better than what you are. And it, it does weigh down on players because then they're not, they don't know and when they're being told things about the club, then they're worrying. So actually bringing a signing in picks that kind of belief up that actually the club is ambitious and it wants to go forward. So hopefully now we can kind of, we can knuckle down, maybe hopefully get another player in before the um, deadline and move forward from there. Cheers, I'll have a lot to Cheers, mate.